All right, everybody, it's Mr. Dom Smith. All right, let's give him a nice round of applause. Now we got Mr. John Chappelle coming on up. So I came up here because they told me it was going to be sold out tonight. And I skipped AA for this. I got one. They finally shut up. So everybody else got heckled by that plane over there at Dobbins. Not me. They said John's coming up. I'm good. But, you know, when you guys walk around, I'm getting heckled by the pebbles. Billy told you guys earlier I'm from England, which is actually true. Most people don't know this, though, unless I show them my green card or my teeth. And I moved over here when I was 13 years old. So I moved from London, England to Great Falls, Montana. It's a culture shock, right? It's like putting Grey Poupon on a peanut butter and jelly. Or going to see the Beatles and getting the Dixie Chicks. But when we moved, my, my stepdad, he told me, he's like, John, you're in America now. You gotta learn baseball. So he takes me in the yard teach me to play catch and I can't catch a lick so it's basically target practice for him but I ended up getting better at being a target and eventually I made a team it was uh, one of those teams that everybody's on I got picked last but I still made it and about halfway through the season the coach comes up to me and tells me John you've been doing better I want to get you some more playing time and I was like I'm gonna get to play he said, yep, handed me a jersey, told me the other team showed up with eight. Uh, going into high school though, I met this girl and she was a cheerleader and I started dating her. And she wasn't any cheerleader. She was the base of the pyramid. There was nobody else, she was the whole base. She was more than a girlfriend to me. She was like four girlfriends. And uh, the football team actually nicknamed her Icebox. Because when she was on the sideline one time, the offensive lineman went down. And they were like, Icebox, get in here. She filled in. Uh, and I realized in high school, too, that my favorite shape is a triangle. Uh, I'm just messing with you. It's a trapezoid. That's like a triangle that's been decapitated. You know, because who doesn't love a good beheading? Yeah. But I also realized in high school that there's a lot of difference in the vocabulary between here and in England. Like they call an eraser a rubber, which makes sense. You use a rubber, it erases the possibility of kids. And they call a, a, a sweater a jumper. And over here, they just call a jumper suicidal. You just got to take the elevator all the way up to be effective, you know. And I was actually talking a jumper down not too long ago, and I was like, do it, just to mess with him. But I kind of felt bad afterwards because he leaned over. He was like, what? And then he fell. Man, have you guys ever seen a sign for an elevator? Anybody? No, it's, it looks like three dudes on a mattress. That's what it looks like. And I'm not gay, but I always take the elevator in case I change my mind. But also in England, they have the equivalent of our dollar store over there. It's just really awkward to ask somebody to go with you because I was talking to my sister one day and I was like, hey, uh, sister, do you want to go to Pound Town? Yeah, I don't know what was more awkward, the fact that she said yes or that she went and put on a dress and makeup. Uh, I took her to Pound Town because she needed a pregnancy test and I needed some erasers. Uh, no, I'm happily married now. Um, 
I've been married for 19 years yesterday was my anniversary. Don't clap so, so soon. I found out recently she cheated on me. But it was before we met, so I forgave her. Uh, we eloped, um, which pissed my mom off because she'd already bought a dress and I didn't invite her. And we went to Nebraska to get married because we wanted it a destination wedding. And when we got there, uh, my wife's friend came with us because she was getting married too. And the morning of the wedding, we wake up at the hotel and the ladies were like, just go without us. We don't want you to see us in our dresses. And we're like, okay. So we go and we walk into the chapel where we're getting married. And I look at the lady and I say, hey, we're here to get married. And she looked at me and goes, we don't do that in Nebraska. You know, because he was with me. But that's all I got for you guys tonight. I am John Chapel. I appreciate your time. Make sure y'all keep coming back, checking us out. All right, that's John Chapel, everybody. Let's give him a nice round of applause. You got it.